The Tuscan Column is one of the five classical orders used by the Romans. It's the most uncomplicated of the five, closest aesthetically to the Doric order. The column includes a simplified capital and base, and plain shaft and entablature. In architecture, the word trabeated means post and lintel construction. Trabeation is ancient and began when mankind moved from caves to custom structures. This is clear in the Egyptian, Greek, and Roman worlds of antiquity. Architects are generally good or interested in math and language. They're creative, they can draw, and maybe even sketch by hand. But most importantly, they're conscientious. While not every architect has every one of these traits, they can be considered foundational. Some examples of contemporary architecture embody the phrase, function follows form. That's because the saying, which is the opposite of Louis Sullivan's form follows function, implies that the shape of a building does not need to directly correspond to its use. The Italian Renaissance lasted about 200 years, beginning in the 14th century. The architecture is said to reflect a growing humanist ideology, which embraced a clarity of thought and organization. One of the ways this was demonstrated is in the return to classicism. Paul Rudolph was an architect known for his geometrically complex concrete buildings. Throughout his career, his designs were both modern, brutalist, or both in aesthetic. His buildings were complex, yet exquisitely minimal. The word neoclassical is used to describe an architectural aesthetic of classical revival that became popular around 1750. In the U.S., federal style, Greek revival, and Beaux-Arts architecture were all associated with the movement. 